Hi, my name is Skip Harlicka. I'm here on the campus of NC State, and we're going to do a little coaches clinic today. Uh, before I get too far into it, I want to say thank you to the Atlanta Hawks, who have been having me do uh, clinics for kids this summer, and we're also talking about doing some clinics for coaches. Uh, my relationship with the Hawks was I was the Atlanta Hawks first first round draft choice. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about me. I went to high school in New Jersey while they were playing basketball. Uh, was able to make all state as well as all American honors. Someone you may know that was a year ahead of me in the state of New Jersey was Bob Verga, the great Duke player who played there. Uh, then from there I went on and was so fortunate I played for a legend. His name was Frank McGuire and he is in the National Hall of Fame. We had the dream team in coaches. Uh, his assistant, one of his assistants, had been his coach, James Buck Freeman, an exceptionally knowledgeable coach about the game, and the other coach assistant was a young man named Donnie Walsh, who went on to become the president of the New York Knicks, as well as the Indiana Pacers. While in South Carolina, I played with another uh, individual that went on to become a famous coach. He also coached in the ACC at Georgia Tech. His name was Bobby Kremens, my teammate. Now I'd like to talk to the coaches a little bit. And I'd like to start by saying thank you for all you do. You come in as high school coaches, especially now with colleges, so many of the kids are leaving after one year. In high school, the kids are coming to you, the boys and the girls that are 13, 14, maybe some 15 years old when they come in. They don't know much about life. And they're going to leave in four years. Some will go to the military, some will go to college. Some will go to the workforce, and you have a tremendous influence on these kids by not only being a coach in basketball, but also a mentor in life. I feel so strongly about that mentoring part. I would like to just show you uh, a book that I wrote recently. If I may, let me go get it. It's right here. And it's called Find Yourself, Find Your Fit, A Lifetime Journey. And this is my effort in reaching kids like you do when you're coaching them, when you're teaching them every day. And we dedicate a chapter to mentoring and how important it is. So again, I just want to say thank you. I think you do a great job. Uh, some of the great high school coaches have been Morgan Wooten, Jack Curran in New York, Morgan Wooten was Washington with DeMatha, and also Bobby Hurley. They turned down a number of college coaches to stay on the high school coaches where so much of the teaching is really done. So I, I salute you. Next, what I'd like to do uh, is talk a little bit about me and, and my statistics, and then what got me into the NBA, which was shooting. My senior year in college, I averaged 21.7 points a game, and they were all, most of them, from long range. I, I played at my height of six foot one and a half, and uh, some of the other honors that I received were first team all ACC, uh, all American honors, and the University of South Carolina honored me by putting me in the Hall of Fame. The state of South Carolina honored me by putting me in their uh, Hall of Fame, the state of South Carolina Hall of Fame. And while I played in the ACC, the University of South Carolina has since gone to the SEC, and the SEC, I was fortunate enough to be honored as an SEC living legend. Now, I would like to go into what got me into the NBA, my strongest suit, shooting. So with that, we're going to go to volume two, and you'll find it there. Now, in leaving, before I leave in total, I would just like to read 
one of the things that Michael Jordan had to say about shooting a basketball. If I may, just give me a minute. Let me get my glasses. And I think it's very, very important, and I, I believe we all know who Michael Jordan was, and here's what he had to say. The art of shooting. You can practice shooting eight hours a day, but if your technique is wrong, then all you become is very good at shooting the wrong way. Get the fundamentals down, and the level of everything else you do will rise. Michael Jordan. That's awful true in life. I'll leave you with this picture. This appeared when my coach did his book on basketball. He used me as the shooter. This is me right here when I was playing. I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.